my apartment is not my apartment is not hot. Thank God. It came back and it's not hot. So last time it was 80 degrees in here. Now it's not that anymore. God, thank, thank God. What? Why is there a heart? What the? What's this heart? What the? Why is there a heart right there? Hello, welcome. Why does the chat have a heart right there? You can do emotes? Whoa, YouTube changed, man. What the heck? <laughs> How do you, that's like some, that's some Discord shit. Oh, I've already cursed. Well, that's been four minutes. That's some Discord like shit. Huh, interesting. Engage. You know what? Cool. Like that, I guess. Love it. Huh. Well, welcome. As usual, I do Berserk, but it's a Thursday this time, not a Tuesday, because you know I was on vacation. It's fun beach time. Uh, I got... I didn't get sunburned, so thank God. Uh, yeah, it's just good times. So, I, gonna, I have to actually eat something, because I didn't do that. And I kind of woke up pretty recently, but this is a very soft food, so there should be no uh, chewing sounds, which is good. Um, but, yeah. We left off with the trolls, but everybody got their new weapons. Well, it was really just Sir Pico and uh, Isidro, but and then Casca and Farnes got defense. Mmm. That's so weird. The heart is just there. It covers that thing in the chat. The beach episode is over, yeah. It's berserk time. Yeah, my beach episode is done. We got the cool panel of guts here. He was slicing. And then the close-up of his face. And then him standing there and everybody being like, Oh my god. This guy is actually powerful. Like the priest and everything. Who denied um, that he was anything. Well, guess what? Guts is more than that. He's, he's, yeah. Mm-mm. Still good. Okay. Now we begin. And as usual, we'll be doing Record of Ragnarok right after. And then Chainsaw Man. Uh right after that then the anime videos come out because I haven't edited them yet so alright well I'm glad that there's air conditioning in my house or in my apartment alright let's go yeah as I expected <laughs> yeah as I expected more of guts just completely slicing them completely in half like everybody's witnessing this too dude Oh yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Oh. This the changing of sword stances as he swings to like do a basically a full 360 like swipe killing all of them in his path, bro. These mean nothing to him. It's nothing compared to everything he's fought. These are just stupid creatures. Honestly. I just love his footwork when he uh, does all this. So, oh, this is got I got skeleton surfing <laughs> shirt. Uh, I love skeleton surfing. It's like the best part. All right. Anyway, yeah, they're like whoa. Right, bitches. The trolls are like, nee, oh. That was sick. Like honestly, everybody is like enthralled. Like, what the hell? 
Oh. Yeah, same. Grrr. And that would be why he has no need of magic. Human wind... Human windmill? <laughs> Thanks, Buck. <laughs> Ignorant saps. Bet that opened their eyes. Serves them right. This is our chance. Run to the church. Ugh, nasty. D did you see that, Father? Through the priest. He's like... Oh. Wow, he's good. That man could drive the trolls out of here. Whoa, whoa, that guy's amazing. That many trolls and without magic. I can't tell which side's more monstrous. Exactly. Exactly. And she's like, I mean, yeah, I guess so. True. He is superhuman. Is this another result of him remaining in the interstice? Where it's easy for the mind to affect matter? Or that shadow that coils about that sword? Dude, it's just because Guts built different, bro. He has the pure rage and revenge. Like, but you know, she could be right, though. Because now that we learned a lot about um, the world. Like, and how there's different types of, like, realms. It's entirely possible, you know? So, that's what I think. Yes. Welcome, Grizzle Boy. Chance. The troll attack began. We're on 208. It began in 207. Or no, was it 206 actually? But it was just the beginning of the attack. So. Now. It continues. One thing that's interesting about Berserk is that it has a very soft magic system until Shirka shows up. Yeah, that's true. We haven't seen much, like, like too much, like, crazy magic stuff until she was here. Introduced a lot of things that happen in this world. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Last bite. And then I continue... Yeah, undefined, unexplained. But now we're getting all that. Which I think is really, really cool. Okay. We good now. Let's continue. Are we prepared, Evalera? You know it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you bet Guts can swing the Dragon Slayer before he was branded. I mean, he did have a big sword back then, too. Not as big, but I'm sure he could have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I stuck the charm, just like you said, on the wall in the direction you told me. All right. <laughs> She's all nervous. <laughs> I love Evil Eris so much. Ah, uh, everyone. Hmm? I will now use magic to extend a bulwark around this church. Everyone, please make haste inside. What are you doing up there? Of all the cursed... The chief... Please, go and drag that girl down immediately. Uh, well... She said magic. I saw them. The girl's companions tore through those trolls without even laying a hand on them. She's here with yonder swordsman. In that case... Uh, ah, enough! The fact remains that it's dangerous here. Everyone, inside, hurry. Indeed, everybody must get inside. Yeah, being Brandon didn't make him stronger. It just made him cursed. <laughs> 
Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I'm just meaning, like, now that he's kind of, like, part, like, actually legit, like, in the interstice itself, being branded, it affects some things. Like, that weird thing inside of him, like, that weird dog thing, like, the, the, the rage, whatever that is, that's got to be something. There's got to be more to that, you know? Although, right now, we're safe. Because he's, uh, the talismans are in effect. So that's good. Please, buy me some time. Oh, she's communicating. Uh, puck. Hoi! Yes! Lady Furness, inside as well, please. Kaskas carries in your hands. Hey, you people! You should just stand back and throw berries. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, the beast of darkness. That's it. Honestly, that's what I'll call it. I beseech you, spirits. Dude, that is sick. <sighs> mayday, mayday. Puck left. You yeah. go away, go away. Right, right. Keep it steady. It, it's real, real magic. Look, he cut down trolls without touching them. Old man Morgan really brought them here. Magic users. Yeah, but go, your gut's not magic at all, dude. You personally see it as being Guts' internal desires, even as negative, as aggressive as it is. Perhaps it is his, like, weird internal desires, but personified. That probably is it. Because I don't think we've seen that this beast of darkness physically, like, in the world. It's been, like, personified. Maybe it's being enhanced by the brand. His desires are being enhanced by the brand. Thus, that's what it shows in his mind, probably. That could be it. Magic. Absolutely ridiculous. I will not permit such behavior in this house of the Lord. Father? Dude, the, it's always the priest, bro. That priest, he's... Yodo he vao he... Stop that! Hey, what gives? We're busy right now, so keep back, buddy. No, never. Such a wicked deed as this before God? Come down from here this instant. What are you talking about? Oh, you make me mad. Who do you think Shirk is doing this for? <gasps> ah! You, you, you slap... There's blood to pay now. There's blood to play. There's blood to pay. You slap Evil Era like that. I'll kill you. I'll kill you! Do that to Puck too? I. Mm. Gah, I'm telling you to stop! You are the one who must stop. Ugh. That girl is attempting to protect the village. Can you not see that? Farness, um going through a great character development because she normally would not have done this in front of a priest previously. With her magic, she can do it. We were saved too. Silence. Even, even should I live until the fullness of my days, if it's because I relied upon some wicked intervention, what would it mean? What? What the hell do you mean? <laughs> this is the will of God. This village should entrust all to the fate God has assigned it. This is sounding a lot like, man, people like this are so stupid, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm going to be real. My mom's, well, I guess technically my grandpa, my grandpa, bro, like, or, well, no, my grandma married a few times and one of them, I guess, I guess he'd be technically called a step grandpa, right? Technically. But like. The, like the third person that she married we, we called him monkey actually because he climbed trees and shit everything that would happen he he said it was because of god like once my my grandma like cut her um like she got like a big like cut somewhere on her hand i forgot where but it was starting to get like infected and stuff but he would never let it heal he was like no this is 
that this is the way God intended it. If that's what happened, then that, that, that's just how it's intended by God. And then he tried to like take her from us by like moving up to like some random state and being like, no, this is God's will. Don't worry. This is, this is, this is how it's supposed to be. Thank God he's, he's gone. <laughs> but at that time as a kid, I'm like, oh, that guy climbs trees. Oh, funny. Now I know the truth. People are weird, man. God. My grandma now lives alone and she is happy with that. Okay? She is just has her little farm. She's good. She's good. <laughs> but it is the people that say that everything is like a will. The will of God. Like, don't let it change. It's just like, nah, that's not the way. If it's the will of God, then heal the hand. That would be the will of God. Yeah, I'm done. All right, anyway, let's, <laughs> let's keep going. Okay. Your theory on the Beast of Darkness is the result of the Black Swordsman arc. All the hatred and anger created it as Guts' shadow. Oh. With the brand itself, that's probably possible. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Not specifically like that, but I know well about older ladies getting lied to and taken advantage of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sucks, but sometimes that happens. And it's, it sucks. Oh, and as I was saying, with Farnes uh, b having character development going against a priest, she is thinking probably of Mazgus now. This man's the same. The same as the old me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. D okay. Dude. She's one of the best characters. I'm not gonna lie. Sending people to their deaths in the name of God. What a panel this one is. It's showing each one. No, I have no right to speak. God's gonna put it in Home was being foreclosed and got her to move like 250 miles away. Damn, that, that would have happened to, to my grandma. Well, not the foreclosing part, but like the same situ kind of weird situation probably. That's crazy. Dude, Casca pulling like what? Ooh. So my words mean nothing to you? Stop him! Shirk is in a trance while she's chanting. Oh, yeah, that's true. The heart. The, I, I keep noticing it, like the heart thing. There's no time to be unsure. Let go of her. Don't interfere. Dude, Casca, like... When Casca tugged her like that, I think she remembered that she has to protect her more than anything. That's, that's, that's great. Also, I'm glad that Evalera is still fine. I haven't drawn in a long time, but if I was to draw again, I would definitely just draw Puck and Evalera. I don't know why, but maybe it's because I'm not good at drawing like clothes and shit, so I could just draw like, I can draw a good anatomy. It'd be fun to draw the little elves. Anyway, she's still in a trance. Don't make her fall off. Wait, what's happening? Oh, they're coming. Oh, shit. Man. They're in the church. Ugh, they're in the church now. Eek! Wait, they're in too? How? Oh, they climbed through the the openings. Oh, God, that's terrifying. Holy shit, that's terrifying. Oh! Why? Oh, God, and they're on the... The White Hawk. 
Magic is the name of this chapter. Gut slicing. Serpico slicing. Isidro throwing. One of them actually ate the... Oh my god! It exploded! He ate that berry and just went... <laughs> and now they're eating him. That is nasty! Eek. Are these things really specters? They reek of shit and blood. Look out, lest you be eaten. I think they noticed that... Yeah, people are trying to get out now. Huh? What gives? They have us penned in. What, what What? can they do now? Now that they're in the church, they have to protect every... Oh, God. I mean, let's be real. Guts only cares about Casca and his, and his friends, but still. Ay! Lady Farness! Casca! Oh, shit. Ugh. You two go. I can handle this alone. Take care of the women and those inside. Understood. We leave it to you. Leave a few for me. I guess, sure, Isidro. Uh huh. Isidro really reminds me of me. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Is he. Is Isidro blonde? Like, what? what is his hair color? I never really thought to ask this question. Let's go to chapter 207. He's kind of like, okay. Seems like kind of like a brownish hair color. Okay. Just being like a little shit, you know? <laughs> now that I think about it, kind of reminds me of one of my childhood friends, maybe. Dude, the slice, bro. And now they are in the church. I say, oh, oh God. Oh, they're here. Move, stupid. I can't get through, you know. Yeah. What's Sir Pico going to do? Ooh. The cape? Is he gonna fly? If he flies, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. I'm gonna lose it. I will actually lose it. He opened his eyes. <laughs> the seizure on the back. Ah! Oh! Oh, wait, is it true? Is it true? <laughs> oh my god. What? Did he actually? He, dude. <laughs> god, he actually flew, dude. Oh my god, the wind guided him, bro. Oh. I was, oh. He jumped over all of them to land in front. So he's between them now. Hey, you see that? He just jumped over us. No, he flew. That's my Air Force. Ah. ah. Damn it, always him. Let's see some of what you guys can do. He's like talking to the, the salamanders. That are now on fire. And now they're done. They burned his face. Isidro, please hold the fort for a bit. Happy hunting, Puck says. Oh, I didn't even realize he cut the trolls too. He jumped over them with a burst of wind. Landed and actually cut like three of them in front of him. Dude, okay. That was awesome. The fox is starting to believe, Matrix. <laughs> he's starting to believe. <laughs> yes, he's er, he's beginning to believe, I think is the quote. Mm. He's beginning to believe. Yes. What the? There we go. Okay. 
I, I accept this. I'm not afraid. See, this is the thing. Again, like, you're just going to accept death. Like, this is God. If, if you were to die right here, this is God's will. Dude, dude pr 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 can preserve your life, bro. You've only got one. If, we're li if, like, if the afterlife is real or not, I don't care. I'm going to at least preserve my life on earth first. I'll deal with the afterlife when that happens or if it doesn't. But for now, I'm going to live my earth life <laughs> as much as I can, dude. Casca. Ooh. Wait, no. What? Casca! Well, they all got stopped by something. Well, oh my god, her screaming. What? Furness? Ah! Oh, like. Oh, is that what got their attention? She literally just screams at them. Oh, even the priest, like, what? Oh, she got one of them. Gets Costco, bro. Ooh. Wow, okay. Dude, I said this already, but I love Farness. And I'm, I'm sure I say her name wrong, but still, Farness. Someone was think wasn't it like Farnes? Eh, I say Farness. It's too late now. You can't. I like when you say a character's name so much, you can't really change it now. So, it's Farness to me. Even though that's probably wrong. Foolishness. Or right, that's him saying that. Foolishness. Shirke. Moomin said that Shirke was correct, so uh, that's at least good. And hi, Moomin. I know you're not here right now, but hi through the VOD. <laughs> Farnese? Okay, okay. I guess... You know, now that I think about it, since this hasn't been animated, and it's probably... A lot of names are never really, like, confirmed, like, how they're pronounced, right? So, like, it could go either way, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's like, I, I, it's like how in Jujutsu Kaisen, I think at most of the people call him Yuji, but I stuck with calling him Itadori, so I just, that's what I call him. Unless that's what everybody else does, but I just, when you call someone one thing, that's just not what you call them. And it's like, oh, okay, well, that's what my brain thinks now, so. Oh, Lord. Guide me into your presence. Ooh, I think it's about time. What? Oh, yeah, okay, threw another berry in there. Shirk? Oh, I see. Shirk or Shirke? Shirke? A lot of interesting names. Isidro is pretty. At least that's pretty self-explanatory. Isidro. <laughs> you know? So. Tch, now I'm out. You're out of your berries that explode people from the inside. Which is kind of awesome. Kind of awesome. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I just didn't know they did that before. Man, there's always just... There's always more of them. The hell Shirke doing? She's all talk. Guess this is too much for an apprentice. Now there's just one thing to do. Aren't you still aren't you still too inexperienced? Dumbass! This is do or die. Ye yelling right in Puck's ear, so he's like doing this. <clears throat> it's payback time. Rotten moomin freaks. Rotten Moomin Freaks? I know it's not spelt the same, but Moomin? <laughs> oh. I've learned something today. 
I've learned something that I never thought I would learn today. That's not the right manga. He calls them rotten moomin freaks. I looked up the word Moomin itself, and it shows. Is Moomin LGBTQ? Wait, what? What is happening? Wait. The fluid approach to gender in the Moomin family is a source of celebration. Well, either way, there's a. There's central characters in a series of novels by Finnish writer and illustrator Tove Jansen, and it looks like this this little thing here. And the trolls kind of have their shape, like, of their, their faces. They're, like, like, their whole, like, face is kind of structured like this little Moomin thing. So, no wonder he calls them a Moomin freak. But also, that has something to do with LGBTQ. Why does Google say is Moomin LGBTQ? <laughs> what? <laughs> Was this the inspiration for your name movement? Probably not, but no, it's your your name's spelled differently, I think. There's no I in your username, I think. I could be wrong. I can't remember things bad. I remember things bad. But okay. I think it's mostly divided between Old English and New England's pronunciations. Okay. Probably, yeah. There's probably many ways to say it, so that's what I was saying before. Anyway, Isidro calling them Moomin Freaks as a reference to some old tale, I guess. Oh, he d ducked down. Low, sharp. Dude, you can do this, Isidro. You've got the stance down. Yeah, now. He tried to do a backstab. Well, not a backstab, but like a stab like this. Oh crap, I'm being swung by the sword. Oh, you kept swinging. You didn't stop yourself. Ugh. You're kidding, not in a place like this. What? Ugh. Ugh. <gasps> Morgan! Bro, what? Ugh. Old man, Morgan, Gah. oh, oh, okay. The the people, the people are fighting back finally. Dude, Morgan, I hope he's gonna be fine. What the fuck? Hey, you guys, don't make a don't make a kid and an old man do it all. He's right. Damn things. Now everybody's fighting. Now it's a real war. Hey, old man, hey, oh, dude, Morgan. Bro. W side character, whom I don't remember his name. Yeah, I remember his name only because I read this manga like four days ago. <laughs> oh God, I hope he's fine. He's gotta be fine. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, let's keep reading. Whoa. From empty space, land, sea, sky, fire, I call the four invisible kings to this place. Shelter us here at this place. Light for us thy flame of warmth and protection. Is this going to work? Because here's the thing. They're already inside the church. So when you protect this place, you're not going to protect from the inside. So you have to take out the trolls on the inside, and then the ones on the outside can't get in. O oh, blessed king of the east, whose spirit rises over the mountains as a, as a zephyr, and those whose golden raiment gleams like the sun. Oh my god. What the hell am I looking at? This is like the astral plane. Like, the, what the f It's shit like this that makes me realize that Berserk will never be animated properly. <laughs> God. Unless, like, it took, like, 50 years, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. 
O oh, blessed king of the west, whose name trembles even the water spirits who caper beneath the waves. And her staff is yet again extending. Her witch hat is also extending, but her staff is mainly extending to, like, maybe contact these these kings of the west and the east of the different elements. This again seems very similar to what Griffith experienced in the in the chapter that was taken out of the manga. Again, something to do with like the astral plane and how everything will become one. That line will stick with me, what Griffith said, like everything will become one. Something's up with that, man. So this one, I think, was the wind spirit. This one's water. I think. Because it looks like water. Dude, this is sick. This is fire. This is actually the elemental kings. Oh, blessed king of the south. The south is fire. Yeah. I live in the south. It's heat. The heat index is death, def, just death incarnate here. Brilliance greater than everlasting flame is thy majesty. And O oh, blessed king of the north, for it is for thy rule that all living beings of the earth rejoice. Whoa. It's like symbolize. It's like the head of the, the spirit, but it kind of looks like earth with like a ring around it. In all places, may we be protected by the four sacred kings. All our woes kept distant from us. Ve Gepla, Ate, Ve Gedula, and Mark To. Are these their names? Bro, she is. She, she's truly unleashing the power of God. <gasps> Le Orhim. Lady Farness, oh, <laughs> like the whole like fucking dude. We're about to be protected by the most insane elemental shit you'll ever see in your life. The Arcana of Invocation. Oh God, dude. Gu does Guts need to go in there before this happens, or can he enter? I didn't think about that. Dude, the light, the pure light. Oh. Whoa, the elements are like flooding the castle itself. Oh, oh my God, it's burning all the trolls. It's like kind of expelling like what the trolls, I guess, symbolize are kind of like the darkness and malice. They're just being purged in a sense. Either that or being, like, in a weird way sent to the, uh, I guess to the astral plane, kind of? Maybe. I don't know. Because it says they're crumbling. The trolls, they're crumbling. Not, like, burning. Well, they are burning, though. What's this light? Oh, the wound's closing. Oh. Okay, good, good, okay, good. Now he's gonna survive. It's like I've powered up too. Shit. Puck's powered up. Is this her magic? I, 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 what the hell was that sound? Oh, that was, okay, that was Blizzard. Dude, look at her face. Look at her tiny little stupid beady eyes. Love it. The priest doesn't know what to do. Oh, what? What's happening? Somehow I was in time. Oh, it wasn't. Is this something you have done? I told you I used magic to extend a bulwark around the church. An evil era. <laughs> Idiot. As long as this barrier does not vanish from my subconscious, any ethereal beings that would do us harm within its boundaries are expunged. So I was wrong. 
The ones inside were also expunged. They didn't have to be taken care of. They were taken care of by the magic itself. Magic? Impossible. I, I won't admit it. I... Such heresy. Oh. Serves you right. This four-hued light. Oh, it has all four colors, basically. Like, the colors of the elements, I guess. Is of the spiritual power of the great beings deep within the astral world who love and protect us. It has become manifest in the physical world. Those great beings are the four cardinal guardian angels written of in your holy scriptures. Oh my gosh, she, <laughs> she's telling them like, this is your God. Are you happy now? You're happy now, right? This is your God. So now are, are we bros now? <laughs> oh, whatever different words you use to express them, is the sun, or the sun is the sun and light is light. The mantras chanted may differ, but are not souls in want of salvation all the same? To divide and oppress people because of those differences is folly. God's name belongs to only, only to God. It is not for man to conduct. That, I, I'm kind of like on the, on board with that. I kind of have that, what is it called? Wait. I think it's called yeah I think it's called it's uh, I think I'm partly like agnostic where like um I feel like something could exist out there but the way humans like create each of their religions they basically make their own version of their gods when it probably could exist. It's just that the way we comprehend it with different types of religions is probably not correct. <laughs> but it does it probably is out there. We just don't know, you know, like just don't know. How can we comprehend it? But different people make different religions to comprehend it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But it's all the same anyway. Despite how different religions have different like types of like gods and stuff, it if if it really does exist, we won't comprehend it. I don't know. It's fascinating to think about. Cause you know, we can't prove it, but maybe it's just cause we can't. I don't know. It's fascinating though. But why? Our mantras do not have this kind of power. They do not call forth miracles like your spell. A church is a sanctuary where people communicate with angels or spirits. A magician constructs this. Or constructs. Construct. I'm thinking of Tears of the Kingdom. I can't. Const, constructs this sanctuary within her own mind. Oh. Within her mind. Dude, this priest is learning everything right now. The spirit is not of this mortal body, but exists within the spiritual world, right? As for those who exist as ideas, the mind is all with which we can perceive them. I... Regarding magic, the user must always consciously envision the figure of the spirit to be addressed. It's like she's touching it. Distinctly enough to perceive it, literally. Mm-hmm. It is not an attempt to believe in something one cannot see. So long as there is no margin of doubt, one can see, feel, fully perceive it. Spiritual perception. Can this truly be? Oh, the troll burning. Yes. Huh. Humanity is capable of this, to be to sense and be sensed, feel and be felt by those not of this world. She's holding or, or helping Evil Era get down. Magic, no. The arcana of invocation is not about simply chanting mantras or meditating intently on your own wishes. 
It begins with recognizing and confronting the counterpart to whom you must impart your thoughts. But then, at the same time, there are also great dangers involved. Still more of them out there, but it's only because they're outside this barrier. Perception shapes the world around you, yeah, indeed. Hmm. Looks like they can't enter this light. I like how his sword is burning from like the blood of the trolls because it's being purged. <laughs> I love how Mura draws her with beady eyes in the distance. <clears throat> That's one hell of a girl up there. Yeah. <clears throat> what are they seeing now? What's that? What? What is that? What? What? What even? What? What? But, uh, huh? What is that? The trolls are even surprised by this. So th this is not what. This isn't a demon, is it? No, this is some other like weird creature. This can't be a demon because they have talismans. What the fuck is that? Oh, 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 I mean, it pretty much looks like a demon from hell. What's this thing? W what is that? I, m monster? The trolls as daddy? No, I don't think so. W what's that monster? Huh? Ogre. An o oh God. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Dude, this ain't the ogre I know, bro. Shrek, bro. No. Ogre. Oh, oh, she's relaying that to all of them. I like the conveyance of how that is in the panels. Get out of my swamp! Yes! What are you doing? In my swamp! Uh, ogre. Ogre. Why is such a thing in the physical world? Yeah, you'd think that... Yeah, wait, what? Dude, I'm pretty sure the trolls are just gonna run. Yeah, they're running. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Eek! Oh! Oh! Flash! It's slightly burning. Far out. Far out. <laughs> okay, Isidro. We are not in like the 90s anymore, bro. Come on. Oh, it's all right. A mere ogre cannot pass through this barrier. Or like the early 2000s, bro. Are we sure about that? Though? It might be able to pass through. However... Pretty dumb, huh? What? Oh no! It's throwing objects, it knows. If it can't get through, then it'll just straight up... Bro, okay. Oh, whoa! What's going on? The barrier is effective against ethereal bodies, but it has no effect on physical objects. It actually is thinking that. That's the... That, what? Oh, swell. Say what? You gotta, you gotta take it out, Guts. I know you can. Evil Horde Part 1. 
Oh man, that means we're gonna end on Evil Horde Part 2. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. At the very least, today's Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's only a three-day wait this time. For when we read more, so. What the hell? What? 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 Lizard horse? Lizard donkey? Water donkey? <gasps> Excuse me? All these like weird mystical creatures are just spawning, bro. That's a Kelpie? A shape-shifting spirit inhabiting lock in Scottish folklore. Oh. I've never heard of that before. That is fascinating. It does, now that I'm looking at it, it's not really like a horse or donkey kind of physical build. It does seem very dog-like, I guess. What the fuck? Okay. And it is a frog, because it, it's making frog noises, so it's not... I thought it was a lizard at first, but it has the throat thing. Making frog sound. Just don't have a... Just... For the love of God, don't have a penis, please. I, I'm, I'm done with creatures with penises trying to... R-A-P-E people. <laughs> okay, anyway... Or back to the ogre throwing objects, which is actually a smart thing to do, so it knows this barrier is dangerous. Gah! That, that It's gonna crumble. We're done for with a monster like that out there. We must create an opening, a chance for me to cast a spell. Hey! Huh? Dude, Guts coming in with the sword like this, bro. I cannot do this, bro. Donkey! It's a donkey to you with ogre? You know what? That's honestly 100% fair. 100% fair. Yeah, this, this Pier de Berserk does use a real, lot of real-life folk creatures. Also, they murdered... Uh, the objective on the top left of the screen said kill 100 trolls. Once that was done... The game, the script of the game started spawning in more creatures. So it spawned in Ogre, spawned in Kelpie, Donkey. It's just going to spawn in other creatures, bro. So that's just how the game works. Dude, come on. Oh! He's in the fucking ground. Understood, boss. Dude. Dude. I love Berserk. What am I? God damn, dude. Huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's he thinking? He couldn't possibly. He'll be trampled. No, he won't. Puck knows. He's the only one, bro. He's pretty used to this kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see. You mustn't. Oh, he hasn't used those in a while. The bombs. Boom. It's tough. Ooh. Oh. oh, man. I just love how movement is conveyed in this manga. I think I've said that 500 times, but it's true. There's a creature that this creature reminds me of, and I can't think of what anime it's from. 
Oh, it's probably... I'm probably thinking of the Minos Grande from Bleach, because I think its mouth opens up in a weird way. Or maybe it's not the Minos Grande. There's some creature in... I think it's Bleach that does the same thing with its like weird mouth like that. I could be wrong, though. But there's some weird creature that does that in Bleach. It just has that mouth. Also, I'm not going to comment. Well, now that I'm commenting on it, I guess I'll say it. But its head kind of looks like a penis. That's that's all I'm saying. Anyway. Let's keep going. Direct hit. Oh, he chopped an arm off. Perfect. I didn't see that in the previous panel. Because he was trying to reach for him. Everyone's just dumbstruck. Like, they don't know. Like, they're genuinely like, what the hell? He he's, he can do this? Reminds me of Gaping Dragon as well. <laughs> the JRPG party only seen guts fighting spirits and zombies, never an apostle-level monster. True. Oh my god, you're right. Everybody except for... I guess technically Farness and Sheer... No, not Sheer Kate. Farness... Actually, everybody except Shirke and everybody else hasn't seen him because he fought Mozgus. But Mozgus, I guess, was he really Apostle level? He was pretty durable, but like, he was pretty strong too. But this, like, everybody's like, holy shit, he's fighting this. This thing is huge too. He's actually, it's actually probably bigger than Mozgus was. So. He was like pseudo apostle, apostle, yeah. Cause he was given that by the egg, making not him an apostle, but yeah, you're right, probably pseudo. Puck going, see, told you. <laughs> I love. I don't know why I love this this specific panel of Evalera. Just, oh. <laughs> I need berserk emotes in uh, my Discord. I need to put more. It's just guts so far. I need more. There's probably some good puck ones and some good uh, Isidro ones. Because I actually started putting emotes in there finally for once in my life. I need to put more. Oh! That was right through the gut. too it's still charging him it threw another like plank oh it def he deflected it and it hit the troll behind him oh my god Dude. Everybody doesn't know what to say. They're watching this like, what the hell? Oh, unbelievable. Who is that man? See, it's like I said. He cut off the monster's arm. Oh, amazing. For real. Amazing. See, it's like I said. And Puck, like, grabbing his ear. See? It's like I said. <laughs> he's not a mo he's not an apostle, but he's in a cre creation of one, like a demon child, bees of the elf queen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. So th would that just make them pseudo then? Probably. That's what they would technically be is kind of a pseudo apostle, unless there's some lower tier than that, because that one goat thing was pretty pretty powerful but that was considered pseudo right like the in the cult cave that the goat thing was pretty crazy so would mozgus be ranked under that then i guess no because the egg turned hit that goat into it as well so they're kind of the same rank i don't know friendly fire <laughs> he may not have been a legit apostle but his power level was surely equal or greater than low level apostles yeah that's what I just thought pseudo-apostle meant, was that egg turned 
the goat guy and Mozgus into basically pseudo apostles where they're not as powerful, but you know, pretty much strong. That's probably, I don't know. I love how Isidro is, I don't think Isidro, other than Mozgus, he hasn't seen him fight, yeah, like a giant creature. Um, yeah, Mozgus is above the goat dude. That is definitely true. Goat guy was fast, but not like Mozgus was built different. They're just cut. They're like the same pseudo rank, I guess, due to egg interfering with both of them and turning them into what they were or what they are. But in terms of strength, yeah, Mozgus would probably destroy the goat guy. But rank is probably the same technically. I just thought Goat Guy was above Mazgus because I, for, I forgot for a second that the egg, he also interfered with Goat Guy, so I forgot he did that. I like, again, I like how Isidro, he's definitely, like, truly being inspired right now because I don't think he's seen, other than Mazgus, him fight such a giant creature like this. But then again, I think, yeah, you were right before. This is the biggest creature that Guts has fought that these guys are witnessing. I already thought he was superhuman, but I never expected this much. Good grief. Priest is dumbfounded. How can one human do this much, just with his body and no magic? In that case, go get him! Now they're eating, oh my god, wait, what the hell? It can regenerate its arm? It just puts it back on? That is some apostle shit, bro. Wait, hang on. He's as tough as he is huge. Not like the trolls. So before the arm fuses... He's got to go for it. Uh, what is that? What the hell was that? Ugh! What? Water? Wait, why? Oh! That's the fucking... That's the frog dog! It's the frog dog! The Cupie, but the frog dog. Why? Oh, Kelpie, I'm fucking stupid. That's a Kelpie. I didn't think they'd actually say what it was in this. Okay. By Kelpie, you mean the horse that drowns travelers in rivers? Bullfrog my butt. Not just an ogre, but a Kelpie. Why? Oh, really? Google says it's a dog, but I guess it could be any kind of, like, four-legged creature that resembles that. Mazgus is already strong as a human. He'd kill a dude with a book and slam his face on the ground a hundred thousand times a day. You know, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> he does that all, like, the time. No wonder he's so built different. Bullfrog my butt. Whoa! Yo, yeah, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What gives? Oh no. The rain. The rain. Oh shit. From one to the next. It won't mean much even if we do exercise them. So what's this thing? A monster that uses magic? A Kelpie is an aquatic mid-grade spiritual, spiritual beast. Looks kind of plain though. It easily subjugates elementals of the same type that are of a lower grade, ones that are without individuality. A Kelpie in the rain is extremely dangerous. He's communicating that to Guts. Tch, when it rains, it pours. So this Kelpie is gonna like control all these creatures. Oh! I thought it was spitting out the water. It's literally forming the rain and then shooting it. That's dangerous. 
and it's killing the trolls. Hey, hey, they make no distinction? They are just obeying their desires. They want to eat the ethereal bodies of living humans, which is rare for them. This is bad. I did not anticipate an ogre and Kelpie on top of the trolls. I will go. What? Sir Pico? Showing off will get you killed. It's absurd. Fighting trolls is one thing, but... No. The wind. He, wh he can, what if he can like redirect the wind so the rain doesn't hit him? Is that a possibility? It's all right. I will buy you adequate time, so use that chance to, to cast your spell. You're gonna die. But, Lady Farness... Eh? Please do your best to take care of Casca. Huh? Uh? R right. Huh? Nah, Sir Pico ain't. Nah, Sir Pico's... He's fine. He got his new weapon. He'll be fine. Well, then... What? Sir Pico... Moron. Suicide's no help. Besides, he's with guts. Dude, look at... He's so sick. Oh, the panel of all oh, the wind spirits. Whoa! He, he fl flew. Yeah, yet again, he flew. Woohoo! Nice one. He's mastered the sylphs that well in such a short time? Lady Farness, I was unable to set you free. No, I didn't think to try. I was simply beside you. Engulfed in a dark repose with another closed soul, like another half of me. But that too seems at an end now. Huh. Because the wind has blown, a wind strong enough to blow down everything you yearned for. Be careful. They aren't like the usual. And so I shall at least... See to it that my other half isn't torn to pieces in the storm. Whatever the usual is, I am I. Spirits of the wind, grant me power. <laughs> no, they're gonna... They got this, bro. They got this. I like that, though. What he's saying here. He was beside her, but, like... There's a part of himself that, like, he also needs to work on. That's just fascinating. Okay, let's continue. This is the last chapter. Evil Horde Part 2. Guts and Sir Pico working together, bro. This is, We gotta do this. Open weight division tag match. Thanks, Puck. Thank you for that input. Now then. Jesus. Oh, he just stood there and, and basically didn't dodge. He used, did he use the wind to like dissipate the water? Bro. Ooh! Almost slashed it, but it blocked it with the water. That horse frog, that frog horse is kind of my opponent. You may leave it to me. Suit yourself. This one's more my style. Simpler. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Double slash. It tried to get him, but he annihilated the, the plank it was holding. What? Did it just grab a whole roof? Jesus. Tore through that. Oh! And tore through it again! Bro, goddamn. 
that is a this is a sick panel right here. I love the angles of the fights that usually happen. It's so cool. That, was that it though? I don't think so. He did it. Oh, uh, amazing. He took it down. That monster all by himself. He did? They're all eating him. Oh no. It went. A team rival joint battle, yeah. <laughs> Basically. Figures. Yeah, it's getting back up. You need to cut its head off. God. Throwing the trolls now. Yo! Oh, he threw him in to the barrier so it just disintegrated. Yeesh. Thus does shrimps. Thus does a shrimp soon expire. Amen. Thank you, Puck. Thank you. A time like this, and I can't do a thing. Don't sweat it. You're one. You're one fine shrimp. As shrimp go. I appreciate that, Puck. You can be a shrimp, but you're still a fine shrimp. Oh, what a spectacle, dear Lord. At least the priest isn't like an asshole. Like he's not doing anything crazy, you know? He's just watching. Like he's just actually like watching and not even like doing anything weird. You might not get a turn if you don't hurry. I must make haste. She's doing her thing. Deeper. A little beyond this. Stratum of the astral world. She's going really, like, into it this time. Oh. What will she find, though? What? Monkey boy is getting short man syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Little dude. This is a sanctuary. The ethereal form of the sanctuary on this hill before the church was built. Oh, I see. Okay. Huh. Undines. Water elementals. You know, that makes so much sense that Undine from Undertale, her name literally is inspired apparently by Undyne. Hmm. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Except that, you know, the original word seems to have an I in, instead of a Y. Water elementals. I see. The ones the sanctuary enshrined. They're cute. They look like little mermaids. Oh! Oh, Sir Pico. Oh, tripped. Oh, tongue! Oh. Slice the tongue off, that's good. Again, it blocks it with the water so fast. Like, really fast. Like, that's, that's wind speed. So that's fast blocking. This is no use. All of my attacks are obstructed by the wall of water. Conversely, I cannot hope to defend against all attacks. Who'd have thought a splash of water could pack such a punch? I'm being pushed around, though it cannot be helped, me being so new to magic. Oh, what the? Oh. What the? 
Oh no, this is some water prison shit, dude, from fucking Naruto, bro. Oh shit! Oh, can't breathe. Huh? What's with Sir Pico? Oh god! Sir Pico! Like, you can't, like, grab the water off of you. Wait, what? Oh, like, when the cape, like, blew it off. Tearing apart trolls in the process, probably. That panel of him is sick. Well, well. Spouting water is not your only trick. I very nearly drowned on land. <sighs> but now I understand. The wind is capable of more than slashing gusts. Spirits, I beseech thee. Ooh. <sighs> Oh! If I cannot cut through it, I will simply blow it around. Dude, this was literally what I was thinking. Like, at the beginning of this, when I was like, why can't you, like, move the, like, swirl the wind around to where the rain doesn't affect you? But he's doing it to this thing instead. Dude, genius. Genius. If I cannot cut through it, I will simply blow it around. And that's right there, bro. Oh, shit, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, God. What is this chapter called? Okay, we're reading one more. Sir Pico's sick. I love it. I love him. Let's go. Let's read one more. Anyway, <laughs> I can't do this. I cannot end here. I can't do it. I can't end it at that point, bro. Raging Torrent is the name of this one. Might I, we'll, we'll, be, we'll probably be reading Chainsaw Man later than normal then. Dude. His eyes are more open now. Oh, he stepped through. Ugh. Sir Pico. Hmm. Gah. What? Oh, we got hit. It did get damaged, though. I was careless. Oh, crap. Sir Pico's in. Oh, he, he turned around because he needed to help him, but the ogre. Ugh, tuh. He can't help. Sir Pico, you'll fall, fool. Ugh. Oh, what, what, what? Huh? What, how, how, what? Huh? The sound it makes in, in a question. Huh? The water's flowing away from the Kelpie? Why? Oh, she had the, oh my God, it must be Shirke. Because she was contacting the... Oh, fuck. In the astral plane, bro. Huh? Oh, it's consuming the trolls now. Huh? Water spouts on the trolls? What? What's... Yep. Yep. Huh. 
oh my god the background the way the background is like the lighting and everything like she's genuinely like just like majestic with the water around her and like th just everything she did it but she went like deep into the astral plane this time I is this also sorcery oh Oh, oh, whoa, that's the water, like, queen, or the water, sp like, I bro, that is a sick, that is so cool, the sickest panel, bro, what's that, what, what are we seeing, that's a water spirit, right now, Shirke's become one with the spirit, it's called possession or something, oh, it's possessing her to, like, control all the water. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, what's that? An angel? I am of the water kin. Oh, it's actually speaking. The spirit of the real that doth flow through this land. In accordance with the ancient oath, do I cleanse this land of the evil spirits that would stain it. In the name of the Lady of the Depths, I command the Undines. With a raging torrent, wash away into the dark depths of the netherworld the wicked spirits that fill this land. Oh, water. I am water. That which gathers and flows through this rill, the water in and of itself. Dude, what? Dude, this pain of her in the water in the background, bro. Gather, my kindred. Gather, swell, surge, and flow. Dude. It's about to destroy that troll, or ogre. Ground tremor? Oh, now what? Wait, what? Somehow this seems bad. Huh? Oh, whoa, is she okay? What's she? She's totally gone water sp- No. Water. Oh! Why is the priest freaking out? Hey, that's dangerous! Oh! The, the river? It's overflowing and coming this way. Oh, dude, the water spirit has totally taken over and is like, we were gonna just cleanse everything. Like, if you don't get out of the way, you're done. But like, I'm I, I'm literally like Noah's arcing this, this city. Like, <laughs> bro. And I thought I was done with water from my vacation. After my vacation. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. She's legitimately just water bending, like like legitimately. Oh, they look the water looks like it's like water hands. I didn't notice that before. Wow, holy shit. Dude, Guts got out just in time, too. I thought he got, like, like torrented in. Ugh. This is magic. Dude, yeah, Guts is like, I've seen, like, I've seen some crazy shit, but this is... Oh. <gasps> Take Shirke with you when we fight, like, Guts, or not Guts, when we fight Griffith and his boys. We need, we need Shirke. Look, the trolls are being washed away. Uh, my house. H hey, you. Wait, Guts, where are you going? Oh, it's like fighting the current. <gasps> oh! Dude, through the current, Guts like literally went. 
<sighs> oh. Bro. He did it. He he had to make sure like this the, this thing it specifically died. Ooh, and Sir Pico got this the, got the got it. Yep. It was too surprised by things happening, dude. Get inside, boys. You'll be swept away. Dropy? Wait, what? What's up? Why? What? Why are you crying? What? What? Okay, and it shows her doing this. That's perfect. That's a good place to end it. I like that. That's more satisfying to me because we've now eliminated the main threats. So we'll continue on Sunday. I wa was Isidro lying about when he ran away? Did his parents like die in a flood or something? That's the only thing I could think. Like, why is he crying when he's looking at like raging waters like this? That's the only thing I can assume is that something happened that gave him trauma regarding like water. Yeah, the magic casting cooldown is long, but very powerful. Yeah, she saved up her ultimate for this. So that's her ultimate ability. I'm okay. That was really good. Okay, I'm glad I read one more to like finish in a way that this. Uh, well, it might not be finished. Who knows? Like another threat could emerge, but for now, this seems like a perfect place to end it. So, because uh, now I'm gonna read Record of Ragnarok and then Chainsaw Man, but that was good. I thought, like, I didn't expect the the Kelpie. I think to like come in out of nowhere and then. The ogre as well, but again, everybody is built different now, and it's great. I love that. But she went deeper into the astral depths. That was the most insane part to me. That was awesome, but also at the same time terrifying, because this is the power of like those elementals, like their full potential. Imagine like fire; it would burn down a whole city, you know, cause earthquakes, and then the wind cause like a hurricane, like crazy I didn't even I didn't know there were comments on uh, these uh, these chapters and the first comment that I read right here says Kelpie could use could have used some helpy and with that <laughs> I think we're done <laughs> thanks for watching Thanks for being here as usual. All y'all will continue on Sunday. But the best part is since I read it on Thursday, there's only a three-day wait until Sunday. So that's good. I like that. I didn't realize there were comments this whole time. So I, I had no idea. But I probably won't read them due to spoilers. So until I catch up at least. Little Witch can be a walking natural natural disaster. Yeah, I hope this can be of good use to help like fight against Griffith or something. So, but who knows? Maybe Griffith's like pure light can just like dispel the elementals. Or I don't fucking know anymore, man. Either way, I'm gonna be done because I need to read Record of Ragnarok and then but Chainsaw Man because I gotta go through that. So, with that, again, thanks for watching. And uh, after all this manga is done, I will edit and post Hunter Hunter and Maiden Abyss um, episode 5 today. I just didn't do it yet because I was on vacation. I did it for episode 4, but not episode 5. So, yeah. <laughs> good, set, good set of chapters. So, we'll see the aftermath on Sunday. So, I'll be done now. Well, thank you again. And have a good one, my friends. Have a good one. Record Ragnarok stream, literally probably going to start right after I end this one, so. Farewell.
Also the hawk. <laughs>